The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, he said to his disciples, If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not believe, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me any of anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In John chapter 6, verse 28 to 29, Jesus said, Work not for the food which perishes, but for that which endures unto eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. Jesus is saying, Work is not only for physical sustenance. Work should lead to a life that is united with God. This life is given by Jesus himself. And when the people asked Jesus, what shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. Work has to teach us belief in Jesus Christ. This belief is not intellectual knowledge of the existence of God, but a, a dynamic trusting and loving relationship of God through Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate St. Joseph the worker, and while this feast commemorates St. Joseph as a laborer, we can also see that this is a feast of St. Joseph as God's worker who literally lived a life of union with God through Jesus Christ. Jesus said in today's gospel, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not then believe, if, but if you do not, then believe because of the works themselves. While scripture does not record any word spoken by Joseph, his works, his actions, speak loudly of his dynamic, trusting, and loving relationship with God. Because Matthew records three times when Joseph expressed his yes to God by his works. First, Joseph obeyed the angel of the Lord and took Mary to his house after accepting his role in raising the Son of God as his own son. Second, St. Joseph obeyed the angel of the Lord and took the child and his mother by night and went to Egypt to escape Herod's murder of the children in Bethlehem. The third instance is when St. Joseph obeyed the angel of the Lord and took the child and his mother and came back to the land of Israel after the death of Herod. Jesus said the work of God is to believe in the one he sent. While the term the one sent 
in this verse refers to Jesus, it can also refer to anyone God sent. God sent his angel to Joseph, and St. Joseph believed and obeyed the angel that God has sent. Therefore, St. Joseph lives up to his name as St. Joseph, the worker of God. By doing the work of God, St. Joseph produced his greatest masterpiece, the raising of the Son of God to be the Savior of the world. The Son of God would also be known as Jesus, the son of Joseph. While St. Joseph had nothing to do with the conception of Jesus, and while Jesus is God and knows everything, Luke chapter 2 verse 52 tells us that Jesus advanced in years and age and grace with God and man. Pope Francis said that Joseph is the shadow of the Father. God the Father chose Joseph to be his human representative to the Son of God. And Joseph provided an example of true manhood to the child Jesus and what a dynamic faith in God looks like. Saint Joseph provided Jesus with an example of sacrificial, self-giving, and self-denying divine love. Saint Joseph taught Jesus how to read the Hebrew scripture, how to worship God in spirit and truth, how to love God the Father with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his soul, and with all his strength. Saint Joseph with Our Lady, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, raised Jesus to what Saint Paul describes in the second reading, as a light to the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. And this is why today we repeat the words of the psalm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made known his victory. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. We have victory in our life because Jesus fulfilled his mission to save the world, giving eternal life to those who believe. Because one man, silently and courageously said yes to God, believing the one God sent, doing God's work, resulting in the safety of the child Jesus, raising this child to be the savior of the world. Saint Joseph cares for us. He shows the love of God the Father. So if we are overwhelmed by situations in our lives, we follow what the Pharaoh said in the Old Testament. When people came to him to ask for food, as, told, as, as narrated in Genesis chapter 41, verse 55, go to Joseph and do whatever he tells you. We are to go to Joseph and learn from him, ask him to pray for us, the man who protected our Savior, who did God's work, is also our spiritual father, who will teach us how to do God's work by uniting ourselves with Jesus Christ, whom he loved as his own son. As we continue in this Mass, we ask God to show us the fatherhood of St. Joseph and how it applies to our lives and how we can be workers of God. We pray for authentic, manly people, for, we pray for authentic, manly men who love God, that they may be faithful with masculine courage to do what is right. We pray for true manhood, for single men in our diocese to rise up and respond to the, the call to be the person of Christ as priests. We pray for true manhood for our shepherds, that they may do God's work, believing in the one God sent, Jesus Christ, 
feeding their sheep, protecting them, providing for them, so that the sheep may know and obey the true shepherd, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God, the Son of Man, and the Son of Joseph. <laughs> 